Hey, what's up guys? So moving swiftly onwards, what we're gonna be looking at now is how to create simple animated titles. Let me give you this a play. This is three little examples that I've created and we're gonna be walking through how to recreate these with uh, either a simple animated text or of course your own um, customized text to put here and overall teaching you the method behind creating this kind of uh, bouncy text right here, which we've created, this scrolling text right here where it's flying across the screen, and this flashing animated text here as well. These are very simple animated titles, and um, you know, I think the text that I've put here also kind of gets that point across to you as well. Um, <laughs> without further ado, let's crack on. So, I am actually going to go ahead and create a new title. And I'm gonna build onto these guys here, don't get me wrong, or build onto this project here. So first up, go over to your graphics section and then go on to browse and you'll be greeted with the basic title, which I love using, which is just a great template to obviously build onto. And I'm gonna actually go ahead and drag that into my timeline. That is gonna be right down here and I'm gonna go ahead and click this and highlight all of this and go ahead and just type in basic and I'm actually going to be creating my three pieces of text to say basic title sequence uh, instead of simple animated title. Um, I don't know, j j just to kind of switch it up for you guys, but basic title sequence or basic animated sequence. I'm, I'm basically going to mess around with the text, but this basic text right here, I want to make this a little bit bigger. Go ahead and make sure that's in the center and just go ahead and put this on. I'm, I'm, I might mess with decay just so we start changing up the font. By all means, guys, um, all these fonts that I'm showing here are completely free, by the way. So if you wanted to follow through with the same font, by all means, type in Decay Free or, or Gotham Free. They're all free fonts. Um, <laughs> but go ahead and center that right there. And I'm actually just going to want to go ahead and trim this down to um, have all of the pieces of the title at the same length. Okay, so if I know this one starts at 8 seconds, I want to go along and maybe just bring that up to um, 8 seconds and 1 millisecond, or I could even um, go over to 8 seconds, 2 milliseconds. Um, either way, I could probably go to about here. And I'm going to go ahead and press C. Just go ahead and cut that right there. And now we have one piece of text that says basic. So next up, what we're going to do is actually create the animation for this. And the first one we're going to start off is the bounce animation. And I am just going to walk you guys through how I created each and every one of these simple animations. So what I would do is actually go ahead and go to the middle of this clip. Okay, so if it starts at 722 or in fact, we, we, we might want to line the time up here at just eight seconds, um, okay, do, 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 just so we could go and find the middle much easier, which is that, that eight and one, okay? And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is put a keyframe on scale at 100, meaning it in the middle of this selection here, the scale is going to have hit the maximum, so 100. Then I'm gonna go to the beginning and just go ahead and press zero there, so that is gradually building up to in the middle of this selection is going to be at its peak size, and then I'm going to go close to the end and go ahead and drag that back down to zero and just go ahead and position that right at the end. So now if we give a play to this, it has this bounce on effect, seeing as the scale jumps from zero all the way to 100 and then right back down to zero. And the interesting thing about this now is that that's essentially all the animation done, and we can hold alt and drag to duplicate and go ahead and just throw that next to it and give that a play, and that's obviously both going to be the basic text, but then we would just go to the second text and type in animated, okay? So now, obviously, it's going to pop basic, animated, and now we can literally hold alt again, drag over, and, uh, and, and, and just go ahead and type in here, title with a couple exclamation marks, which apparently don't pop up on Decay uh, font. So, I, so I'll put that back down. And now if we give this a play, it says basic animated title, just like that. And that is how you would create a basic jump on bounce animated title in, you know, a matter of minutes as we just did right there. So the next title type that I created was this simple animated title where it's scrolling across the screen. So again, to create that very simply, we could just throw this second bounce one over here, just pop that on top of there. So we're we're stacking stuff now. That looks a little bit crazy. We would obviously want to um, turn off the uh, the um, the opacity for one of these layers. But um, moving on, what we could do is again just go to browse on our graphics, drag in another title graphic, and this one we could um, actually just go ahead and you know put the title with something random, basically whatever you want. I'm just gonna have uh, random. I'm gonna say 
random text here as my three pieces, just so we're not writing the same thing for you guys every time. Just go ahead and pop this into K again. Um, turn this up a little bit and just go ahead and center that. So now we again need to s uh, section off a piece. So I am going to um, just, just go back to eight here just so I have a nice set uh, time and bring that up to one. So I'm creating the exact same uh, dimension or actually it's, it's, it's over to two. Yes, two. So cut that. And now we've got this piece that just says random. Cool. So again, it is the same process. I would find the middle of this clip, which is uh, this 801. And the reason I'm putting it on eight seconds every time is just so I can easily find the middle clip. You see how obviously if it was off, it would it, the, the middle would be some weird number. But anyways, <laughs> um, go ahead and find the middle of it. And I'm actually just going to go ahead and put a toggle animation keyframe marker on the middle of this, but on the middle of the position. So it's actually keeping track of the, posi the position now and not the scale, okay? So then I would, again, go to the beginning of this clip and go ahead and just drag this way to the left so it's way off screen. And then, um, so if we give this a play, this basically just animates to the middle of this and then stops there. So again, it's the same process as last time. Now what we would do is complete this motion. So I would go um, decently close to the end, right? And start dragging that so it's fully off screen to the right. And then I would adjust that keyframe so it goes all the way. And now if I give this a play, it just says random, scrolling across the screen pretty fast, but you can read it in time. And then if we were to, again, just hold alt, duplicate this, hold alt again and duplicate this again, we have three randoms just scrolling across the screen, but then we would go to the center of it, go ahead and change this to random uh, text, um, and then the next thing we're gonna write um, on screen, okay? So just a random piece of text, random text on screen. And that rolls pretty fast. We could even put a space in between these guys. And overall, that right there is the next quick animated title, the, 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 the next simplistic animated title. So. If we go ahead and just throw this guy up here above these guys, go ahead and just turn off um, the visibility of this layer below so we could just see our two basic animated titles here, random text on screen. <laughs> and overall, this is uh, pretty much the process of creating some very simplistic animated titles. And in fact, I'm going to show you how to save presets right after we just quickly create this next one, which is going to be the strobe kind of flashing animated text. So. Again, go ahead and create yourself a brand new piece of text. And um, what I'm going to do over here is just drag this up here so we could just cut this and have it the exact same size. That's probably what I should have done the whole time instead of trying to line it up with, with a, sp a specific number like I was doing um, by lining it up with the 8 or whatever. But um, anyways, find the middle of the clip. And for the actual flash effect, what I like to do is go ahead and just press a keyframe on the opacity. So add a keyframe here. So the opacity is 100. And, um, oh, I need we turn that off. The opacity is how much is visible. Okay, so if this is zero, we can't see anything here. The opacity is 100. We can see something here. So what I've done is just go ahead and told this text that it is 100% visible at the middle frame. And then I could go over here to the first frame and make that 0% visible. So it builds up to the middle where it becomes 100% visible. And in fact, I need to just go ahead and tweak this title sequence quick. I'll just go ahead and put, again, simple. And um, we're just going to call this one again, simple animated title because I've kind of run out of um, kind of funny little things to put here in my head. I'm just going to not not think too much about it. Go ahead and just put simple. So currently um, at our animation, simple just builds to 100% and stays that way. So obviously what we would want to do to create the strobe kind of flashing animation here is when it builds, we do the same thing we've done to everything else and just go near to the end, go ahead and put the um, opacity to zero here and drag that all the way to the end. And now if we give this a play, simple is going to have the look that it is flashing. And we can again hold alt, drag that to the side, again, drag that to the side again, and give that a play and it's gonna keep flashing simple. But if we go to the second piece of text and go ahead and just type in animated, and then this third piece of text and type in title, we are going to, when we give this a play, have simple animated title popping up. But I do believe that I cut off one frame here. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, let me just drag this over and, uh, and, and, and write simple here quick. Um, Cause I'm pretty sure I just, yeah, yeah. There you go, simple animated title. 
And there we have it, people. We have uh, created and walked through those three simple animated titles. If I go ahead and turn off the visibility of that bottom original layer, which, my, which was my example, and give that a play, we have a basic animated title popping up, then the random text on screen scrolling, and then simple animated title um, kind of uh, flashing there at the end example with the opacity. Very quick, simple walkthrough of the simple animated titles. 